here on the sixth floor. So, this floor has what facilities? Hai? This sixth floor consists of a child and mother care center. Uh, it consists of maternity wards, the pediatric or the children ward, and the ward for the new nets, newborn babies, plus a labor room. And there is a dedicated office theater for patients who are in trouble at the labor room and they are pulled for emergency surgeries. So any complications during childbirth are handled on this floor? Yeah, on this floor. Or any pediatric concerns are also? Also, they have uh, life uh, critical support, uh, like ventilator and the oxygen supplies. Perfect. So to our left, I believe, is the PED ward. What does PED stand for? PED right? is the pediatrics uh, ward. Achha. Pediatrics means the children ward. Achha, okay. The new uh, kids who are less than 12 years old. Okay, okay. So let's take a trip inside and see what they Pediatric ward is eight bed facility, uh, having its dedicated play area. Uh, I mean, all facilities for kids. We have tried to keep them entertaining as well. So they have their own dedicated uh, areas where they can interact and play. It's very indicative that this pediatric ward because it is much more colorful than the rest of the hospital. Yeah, orange walls and then the beds are colorful, the yellow and orange. So you know, a little bit of color in these kids' lives definitely gives them a lot of hope. From the PEDS ward, we make our way to the neonatal ward. The doctor, I believe we're going to meet the manager of nursing in there. Actually, this is the neonates critical ward. This is the most sensitive ward um, because the newborn babies who have some critical problems are hospitalized here, admitted here for a while till they recover. Uh, Dr. Salima Dosa is a manager of nursing. She's PhD in nursing and she looks after the critical areas of the hospital. Hello, Doctor. I'm Nasher Khan. Salima. Salima Dosa. So we are standing here with Dr. Salima Dosa, who is the head of uh, manager of nursing for especially the neocritical ward. So, Doctor, what exactly is your day like in the neocritical ward? Uh, this is basically comprises of seven incubators, which means that the baby who born immediately can be placed into the incubator to look after themselves, whether they are suffering from any sort of a disease. Either it is a respiratory problem, either they are sepsis. Like at the moment, we have one pediatric, one neonate. Uh, that bacha is on basically ventilator due to the sepsis. Uh, we are providing artificial breath to that baby to make more survive. Uh, he is uh, gradually increasing his health because he is here since 11. He admitted uh, with the, uh, the different disease of a sepsis and the respiratory distress. Besides that, uh, we got a different two more babies, which are again having the respiratory difficulties. Uh, we got qualified staff, trained uh, technician who are responsible for day-by-day -day activities, basically. Achha, okay. So, doctor, on an average weekly basis, kitne, how many babies are admitted into the neonatal ward? Uh, we can't just go by weekly, but till from the 1st July to today is the 13th July. If you're going to check out, we got 17 to 18 admission in during that 13, 14 days, which being all the baby gets settled, stable, and we shift it to the mother and they can discharge from here. Achha, okay. So, Yanka's success rate, I see, I can see that all the necessary equipment is provided. Yes. The success rate of the babies surviving and, you know, becoming healthier, it's fairly high? It's very high because we are providing all the uh, control, centralized system with them. Uh, all the things are monitored by the monitor. The staff are capable, uh, enough capable. We got 24-7 facility of a doctor, nurses. Uh, many more uh, consultants are being on the on call, so whenever you uh, got confused, you need, need some sort of a help, you can definitely make them call. They have all the numbers, they have all the synchronized things with them, so we doesn't have any problem in during uh, controlling of a baby. We got the equipments here, we got the crash card, which means all the emergency drugs are being placed here, so we doesn't really need to rush up for anything. If something goes wrong here, we know how to manage the things. We are here since 9 to 9, doctors are here from different hours, so by the grace of Allah, we are managing very well. So, doctor, you must have composure of steel because this is especially a very unfortunate part of the hospital, you know, looking at these poor infants and, you know, in their malnourished state. It must get, it must get to you after a while, though. So how do you manage to stay calm? Sometimes, definitely, because you are a human being, it gives you a decreased feeling, uh, make yourself uh, low, especially when somebody expires in that age. But definitely, if you look after your uh, performances, you look after your professional, you can't be just take uh, your personal life and professional life perfected. Definitely, sometimes we do feel down, but again, if we feel down, then definitely it is a very difficult to handle the parents outside, because they are in much agony as compared to what we are facing. Perfect. 
As you can see, we have concluded a conversation with Dr. Salima, and despite the fact that this is on the more depressing side of the hospital, it gives everybody hope out there in knowing that this hospital, Burhani Hospital, provides the services and has the qualified staff capable of dealing with any sort of situation, no matter how large or small. From the neonatal ward to the labor ward, so we are standing here with Dr. Anita Rajesh. Rajesh. Dr. Anita Rajesh. Dr. Anita, आप head and labour ward की? जी. अच्छा okay. तो आपके responsibilities में क्या include होता है? We see the patients and the deliveries and the OT preparation, patient for OT preparation. ये सारे चीजें हम देखते हैं। तो labour ward में कौन सी services आप provide करते हैं? एक तो deliveries होती हैं और new admissions, emergencies जो भी होती हैं, गायनी की, ops की, labour room में ही आती हैं। पर वहीं से हम prepare करते हैं further C-section के लिए या जो भी होता है गायनी का पेशेंट तो सारी जो कॉम्प्लिकेशंस होती हैं चाइल्ड बर्थ से अफिलिएटेड वो सारी इस बॉल में एंडल होती हैं लेबर रूम में अच्छा तो डॉक्टर आप बताएं एवरेज ऑन अ वीकली और मंथली बेसिस आपके यहाँ कितनी डिलीवरीज होती हैं डिलीवरीज में मंथली तो पर 160 वन so you have a lot of busy schedules. So on staff, at one time, how many doctors and nurses are available? In the evening, there are two doctors in the labor room. There are nurses. And the other staff, like I am, 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 I am. So in your opinion, what the staff has given you, the staff has given you, this is capable of handling any problems that the labor ward faces? Yes, 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 fully capable. And it's very good. So, based on hospital rules, we cannot go in because it is primarily just a female ward. So, is there a reason behind this? Can you only go to women? Yes, because this is Asian countries, Pakistan. There is no foreign country where you can go to male. Perfect. So, there is a comfortability issue. So, we have all the IIs, assistants and nurses, doctors, all the women? Yes, all the women. Okay, perfect. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. We have concluded our tour of the sixth floor where we saw the PEDS ward, the neonatal and the labor ward and we had interviews with a couple of doctors. So now we make our way to the seventh floor where the medical and surgical wards house themselves. Shall we doctor? Yes please. So we are here in a private room with Dr. Ved Prakash who is a long time patient of Dr. Uh, of Burani Hospital. How are you doctor? So doctor, you can tell the quality of services that you have here the, that you have taken advantage of, job surgical procedures and the quality of the staff, the doctors and the housing arrangements, Kesi? All are superb. All are superb? Yeah. Do you have any complaints, suggestions, concerns? No, no, no. Achha, aapka bada one-sided uh, stance hai. What? Bada aapka, you know, seems to be very optimistic, positive stance. Yeah, because I am understanding patient with this hospital. Achha. So I have a lot of experience regarding with all doctors and nursing care. Achha. All are superb. All are superb. आपके ये जो housing facilities हैं, the beds and the air conditioning वगैरह, सारे you're comfortable? Yeah, I don't ever complain regarding all of these things. अच्छा अच्छा, perfect. तो what about the prices, doctor? Do you feel कि यहाँ इस hospital की prices are fair? If it's you know it's cheaper than other hospitals or if it's more expensive? I think it's not expensive. अच्छा. Yeah. तो आपके ख्याल से good value for money है? Yeah. अच्छा, perfect. So hopefully, doctor, you can get better soon, very soon, and we can see you up on your feet practicing again. I'm standing at the nursing station on the seventh floor with the head nurse, Miss Kavish Mariam. How are you, Miss Kavish? I'm fine, thank you. Okay. So, tell me, what kind of services are provided for patients? हमारे यहाँ पे मेडिकल, सर्जिकल, पीडियाट्रिक्स और मेटरनिटी सब केयर प्रोवाइड करते हैं। तो आपके रिस्पांसिबिलिटीज में क्या आता है? आई एम हेड नर्स ऑफ दिस फ्लोर और सबको लुक आफ्टर करना क्या केयर्स प्रोवाइड की जा रही हैं और जो प्रॉब्लम्स पेशेंट्स फेस कर रहे हैं उनको डील करना ये सब कुछ आता है। बहुत प्रॉब्लम्स तो नहीं होती कभी कभार जैसे न्यू प्रोजेक्ट है पेशेंट्स की एक्सपेक्टेशंस और ज़्यादा बढ़ गई हैं तो उनको साथ डील करना मैनेज करना उसमें थोड़ा प्रॉब्लम होता है अच्छा ओके तो प्रीटी मार्च एडमिनिस्ट्रेशन सी थोड़ी सी प्रॉब्लम्स होती हैं और थोड़ा सा गेटिंग यूज्ड टू द न्यू प्रोजेक्ट 
अच्छा तो बताएं अगर इफ पेशेंट इज इन नीड उसको आपकी असिस्टेंट चाहिए या, या मिस्टर शाहिद की असिस्टेंट चाहिए या हु इज आल्सो रजिस्टर्ड नर्स तो हाउ डू दे कांटेक्ट यू फ्रॉम देयर बेड्स हम अर्ली मॉर्निंग आते हैं सब पेशेंट्स का बेड टू बेड राउंड करते हैं और उनसे पूछते हैं कोई प्रॉब्लम या कुछ है तो फिर वो हमें बताते हैं और हम उसको उसी वक्त सॉल्व करते हैं तो यहां इनकी 24 फोर आवर्स मॉनिटरिंग हो रही होती है जी तो बताएं कितने डॉक्टर्स और कितने नर्सेज हैं इस फ्लोर पे हाँ हमारे पास यहाँ पर सेवन नर्सेज हैं इसके अलावा एक ड्यूटी डॉक्टर होते हैं ट्वेंटी फोर आवर्स और इस फ्लोर पे जनरल वार्ड सेमी प्राइवेट रूम प्राइवेट रूम तीन जी मिस्टर शायद आप बता सकते हैं ये नर्स कॉल सिस्टम क्या है जी ये आर बेड पे एक नर्स कॉल सिस्टम है जिस पेशेंट को कोई भी प्रॉब्लम होती है तो वहाँ से बेल नहीं करते हैं हमारा कोई ना कोई स्टाफ उस बेड पे उसी टाइम पहुँच जाते हैं और जो भी उसको सर्विस होती है वो प्रोवाइड करते हैं हमें जो भी प्रॉब्लम होती है तो वो सॉल्व करते हैं वहाँ तो आपके ख्याल से ये काफ़ी एफिशेंट सिस्टम है बहुत ज़्यादा एफिशेंट सिस्टम है और इसकी वजह से जो पेशेंट की प्रॉब्लम होती है वो जल्दी सॉल्व हो जाती है स्टाफ जल्दी वहाँ पर पहुँच जाते हैं टाइम एफिशेंट रिजोर्स एफिशेंट थैंक यू वेरी मच मिस्टर शायद